right, we're here again with Coach Tim Smith, head coach and athletic director for Evangel Lightning. Coach, big win last week over conference rival East Central Patriots uh, on the road as well. Uh, were your, what were your overall impressions of the team and from week two? Yeah, I, th I thought we played really well. You know, um, being the first game that we started the game without Hunter, you know, since he – All right, we're here again with Coach Tim Smith, head coach and athletic director for Evangel Lightning. Coach, big win last week over conference rival East Central Patriots uh, on the road as well. Uh, were your, what were your overall impressions of the team and from week two? Yeah, I, th I thought we played really well. You know, um, being the first game that we started the game without Hunter, you know, since he got injured. Yep. I think the kids have really bounced back from that pretty well. Yep. Uh, we bounced back from um, the injuries that we've had and played really hard early. We did exactly what we wanted to do. We told them we wanted to start fast. Got the, we, we really do not onside kick. That is not an onside kick. That's, that's our kick. And Stan, uh, Stan Escavage, who we call Stan, mm -hmm. Stan really does a good job. He's got to where he can push that thing straight up in there about 20 foot high. And yep. teams don't know to call for a fair catch, as the kid from uh, – Kerry learned you right, need to right. get your hand up above your head, yeah. not in front, because uh, Grady will wipe it out. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. He's got a head of steam. And so the other night, the kid, it just went through his hands. But when you look up and there's four white jerseys right in your face and they're screaming, you know, he, he lost his concentration and we got the ball. So He heard more than footsteps, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> well, just looking at the game, it, it seemed to me offensively, Kemp Swords did what you expected him to do. He had a kind of a breakout game. He completed over 73% of his passes, had 
225 yards through the air and a touchdown and then another 60 yards on the ground. Pretty good night for the junior, right? Yeah, uh, we knew in Gatlinburg, to be honest, when we played up there and we got the lead, we got some injuries, and I told Hagen basically, let's, let's just get back to Alabama. Let's run the football, run the clock, let's go home. And uh, so the other night, we know Kemp can throw it. These guys sitting here that, that you're going to talk to in a few minutes, they know because they see him at practice, he can throw it. And uh, so we turned him loose a little bit. And you yeah. saw he, he's very accurate. Yep. Uh, so he had a good night, 225 yards. I think he was 11 for 15. Threw a couple of picks. One of them's mine. Uh, one of them's his, I told him. One of them's mine. <laughs> so, yeah, he had a good night. <clears throat> he's going to keep getting better, too. That's right. And through the first two games, what are the what are you seeing as his biggest need for improvement going forward? Uh, to be honest, and if he was sitting here, I'd tell him the same thing. He needs to be more boisterous. They'll tell you. Uh, Hunter and Cole sitting here with us that they probably hadn't heard his voice very much because Kemp is the quietest kid on the team. Him yeah. and Josh Lumen, I don't know if I've heard him. We have to make Kemp speak in the huddle. You yeah. know, we want him to – I even tried to get on to him the other day a little bit to see if I could, you know, nothing. He's yeah. just – He's laid back, which is a good thing for the quarterback. He's easy going. He don't, you know, he don't, he don't struggle with it. He just, whatever happens, happens, and he rolls on to the next play. Mm, well, that's working out pretty good for him so far. So far. Um, and turning attention to the rushing game, Caleb Austin had his first 100-yard rushing performance last Friday. How big has it been to have him back healthy this year? It's been huge. I mean – especially with this guy sitting over here beside me with his leg in a brace, you know, we wasn't expecting that. And for Caleb to be back healthy, he's, you know, he's picking up that load. Yeah. And uh, he had a really big night. I think he only had eight carries, mm -hmm. eight or nine. What many. Uh, but Caleb can go now. He can run the football. He can carry it. Yep. So we knew we had a lot of depth in the first game, and now we don't have quite as much depth, so we're working on it. We've moved uh, – Will back there a little bit. Of course, this week we've got Colton Duro coming back. Mm -hmm. He took reps in practice this week. Uh, but I'm going to tell you one to look out for in the next – I'm going to say the next few weeks, but over the next few years, Stone Henderson. Oh, yeah, the he's, freshman. He's starting to come into his own a little bit. The other night he ran the ball really hard, had a big game in junior high. And after the varsity game the other night, I walked up to him. He was smiling. He, he had several carries run the ball really hard, and I told him, I said, well, you do have a little Henderson in you, don't you? Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, sir. Pretty good genes in that kid. He's got a couple no, of older man. brothers that were studs here. Got a little sister that's out there in that gym. That's right. In volleyball that Maddie Henderson. She could be the first D1 prospect out of here. That's, she, that's a that good, very good point. The freshman is <laughs> – she started as an eighth grader on the volleyball team. And defensively, it was business as usual. The guys have picked up right where they left off last year, only giving up one touchdown through the first two games. And it all starts up front uh, with this unit. Your two leading tacklers are defensive linemen. What are you looking for uh, from them to get better or just keep doing what they're doing? You know, they just got to keep doing what they're doing. You know, they, Coach Clay and I have talked about this over the last two years. You know, I've coached football a long time. I don't know that I've ever went two years now with – I don't have a defensive lineman that weighs 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. Clay may be close, mm -hmm. but he don't. I bet he don't weigh 190, maybe 190. Yep. Carl, how much you weigh? I don't know, Coach. See, they, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Enough. Enough. Well, we don't have anybody that weighs 200, So, but they get after you. And that's what uh, the East Central coach talked about that. He said, your defensive line pulls <laughs> is, is because I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> And he looked like a car. Well, I mean, he and, only got 50-something to keep up with, right? Well, and that was the first year, and to be honest, he wasn't playing much. <laughs> so he was just over on the sideline, and I started calling him Carl. He didn't correct me. Yeah. And then uh, I called him Cole one day, and I won't ever forget it. It was probably a year later. I said, Cole, and he said, Coach, are you, are you mad at me or something? My, my <laughs> name's Carl. I'm like, oh, my bad, Carl. So, <laughs> Carl it is. There he is. Oh, that's funny. We're going to talk to Cole here in a minute as well as Hunter Atkins, who's joined us. Uh, but first, I think you said b before we went on air, we haven't seen any film on our opponent tonight, Evangel Christian Academy. So um, <clears throat> what do we know about them? Uh, they're always athletic. They're always big. They're always fast. Uh, we 
pulled up their their roster. They were supposed to play last week, and the team they were supposed to play canceled on them, and so they didn't get to play. Which really we we feel like as a coaching staff, we do a pretty good job of breaking you down. Mm-hmm. Uh, it makes you feel more at ease when when you know what they're going to line up in. We know what we're going to do on defense. If we know what they're going to do on defense, we know what to do on offense. So we're really going off. We did get a feel. Okay. But it was their state championship game at the end of last year. And uh, so that's that's what we broke down and went by. But they they picked up 12 new players. Okay. Well, you never so, probably don't really know what you're going to see then tonight. No. Uh, I, I know they'll they'll be athletic. They'll get after us. We're, we're hoping in, that our depth and our conditioning comes into play tonight. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it's been the hottest – week of the year so far i think how has that been conditioning wise on the guys i don't know about them but it almost killed me yeah i don't know i'm i'm tired looking for saturday <laughs> no we we tried to take it easy it, it was probably the easiest week they've had mm. uh we went no pads monday in fact the only day we went pads was tuesday we really didn't go a lot live then we bumped around a little bit but it was so hot, and then yesterday, our Wednesday practice, I mean, we, we come in the gym. Nobody was here. So from 3.30 to about 4.30, we walked through everything in the air. Okay. That, that was my favorite day of the week. <laughs> I bet. AC's working well in the gym today. All right, so Cole. got Cole Romano here with us, defensive end on the Lightning defense. Cole, do your uh, linebackers in the secondary kind of get on you guys up front sometimes and say, come on, guys, let us – let us make some tackles too. Uh, we definitely there's definitely some joking around on the field, and uh, I've definitely we've definitely heard that before. But a lot of times uh, we're a little busy in celebration to be thinking about stuff like that. We get pretty uh, pretty excited out there when we're smashing heads. Yeah, <laughs> two of the leading tacklers on the defense are part of the defensive line this year, so maybe you guys will let them make some tackles every now and then. <laughs> so same question I asked coach. Although this squad has been so dominant last year and the start of this year what do you guys need to improve on and and what are your what are you doing to improve in those areas um as for defensive line definitely like we have the same defensive line as last year when it comes to like what we need to improve on i would say staying low and making sure we're controlled which yeah. uh, our coach coach blake tells us a lot mm-hmm. because we're we're all pretty tall guys so we have a tendency to try to get up high yeah. or we're also pretty aggressive and a little hungry for tackles Sometimes we try to go downfield a little too much, so things like that, staying back, that kind of thing. And then just besides that, when it comes to the whole defense, uh, just all run to the ball and just taking everybody out. I mean, we, we're, <laughs> but we're, we're pretty sound on that part, but yeah. we can always do better. Kind of that headhunter mentality. This is your last year, obviously. What's it been like playing for your dad these last couple of seasons, especially with him transitioning to the D.C. role? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is that like, Coach? <laughs> it's been good. It's been fun. He's a he's an amazing coach, and um, he is uh, me and Hunter's dad. But at the same time, when he's coaching, I mean, like, he's not really our dad. He's, co- he's, he's Coach Clay, and mm-hmm. uh, he can be a little hard on us, mm-hmm. and he'll, he'll get after you, but – He's an amazing defensive coordinator. Like he, the time he spends, even though he's he's got a full job, you know he's not getting paid for this. But the time he spends is unreal. Just breaking down, he loves it. Yeah. So I mean, it's been fun because he he loves it, it makes you just love it more, and the whole defense loves him. So it's been great. That's awesome. I need to ask him a question. Go ahead, coach. Is it, it's not ever, my show. Has he ever Cheers. got has he ever got red faced on you, Carl? <laughs> Uh, well, he's definitely gotten red face on there before. <laughs> yeah. It's a little yeah, scary. I look when I see him about to happen. We usually, as a coaching staff, we usually Clay this year. He can't be here every day because he his jobs mm-hmm. took him away a little bit. So when he's there, you know, usually Coach Welch and I are trying to poke at him a little bit, you know, and he'll say, "How many plays?" The other day when he was he had missed a couple days and he was here, and I'd warned him. I said, "Y'all better quit clowning around in the huddle now because he's the man will be back tomorrow." And sure enough, so Coach Welch said. I'll say five plays. I said, I'll go two. How many was it, Carl? Uh, it was one. It was <laughs> one. It was, yeah. And he went off, and I just sat over there and just smiled. <laughs> it's great. Nobody won that bet, huh? Well, talk about your leadership style a little bit, Cole. Are you more of a vocal leader or lead-by-example guy? What kind of leadership oh. style would you say you have? I think both is very important, so I try to lead by both. I would say I'm pretty vocal, but if one trumps the other, I would say my actions mm-hmm. are the bigger way I lead. Uh, I try to combine the both, like I said. Like I like, like with my actions, I think words are helpful. Or trying to get people to 
you know, walking a little bit more. But at the end of the day, what matters really is how you're acting. Because mm. you can say all the world's in the world, but if you don't follow them up with your actions, it don't mean nothing. That's right. So Good point. The actions definitely would probably be my biggest thing. And are there, there are any guys on the team you've kind of taken under your wing this fall that maybe you see a lot of potential in, but they just need somebody to kind of help bring them along a little bit? Um, people I've uh, taken under my wing maybe. Uh, I don't know. Like for Reed Cowsberry is a good little defensive end, and he's I think he's got potential. He's a junior. He's mm-hmm. coming up next year. And he's been kind of there for a good bit now, so um, I wouldn't say he needs too much mentoring. Mm-hmm. He's been doing pretty good. Right. So, But I think uh, that's someone that – I'm trying to encourage and keep under my wing. Cool. And then we've also played around with Nick Cloud mm-hmm. being that defensive end if we need him. Wild so I've cat. been trying to mentoring him on that part of it. Yep. And uh, he's got a lot of potential. Absolutely. Works hard. Both of them do. Cool. So we, what's your plans after high school? Or are you still kind of weighing your options or what? I'm still kind of weighing my options. Weighing your options. Yeah, okay. how it goes. Fair Praying enough. about it. There you go. Turn it over to the Lord. Yes, sir. All right. So, Hunter. Hunter Atkins is with us, so obviously big guy. This is the uh, first time we've talked to you since uh, before the Gatlinburg <coughs> game, on air anyway. Um, how have you been dealing with the, the adversity of, of having your last season at Evangel cut short? Uh, well, you know, it's been an emotional road so far. I'm still trying to physically accept the fact that I'm uh, it's done for my senior year, but i am just been leaning on God, mm-hmm. trusting his his process, and he'll get me through it. Well, I, what I was going to ask you was how your faith has enabled you to deal with that unfortunate accident. So I think you answered that question pretty well. And did everything go well with the surgery and all? Everything did go well with the surgery. They opened me up. Uh, they said my meniscus was worse than they thought. Mm-hmm. So they repaired that. And then they did a patella graph of my ACL and they put that in there. And so it's just got everything's just got to heal now. Yeah. Okay. Ask him about his uh, PT. I like that. Oh, yeah. How is that PT? Physical it's hard, therapy. but I do enjoy going. It gives you something to do. It gets me out of the house. Uh, I get it. I love going in there and just enjoy working it. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough road, but it'll be worth it in the end for sure. So what's next for you after high school? Any plans? Still working on those or what? I just got to recover first. We're still working on them. Yeah. So, you know, everything, everything will fan out the way it needs to. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're excited to see what the Lord has in store for you, and I know you got big things coming up, both of you guys, and uh, we're really proud of you and excited to to see what's coming. And Cole will enjoy watching you on the field tonight. Any any closing remarks before we wrap it up here? Time Anybody? to play. Yeah. <laughs> time to play. We'll, let's it's show time. I, I think we're. I think the kids are excited for this game because we have pitted this game as the AISA state champions. And the ACSC state champions. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to find out who – I can't give away my pregame speech to the team, but we're going to find out who's who's a contender and who's a pretender tonight. At one time they were a 2A school. Yeah. They were, they were a yeah. powerhouse in basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought they had some history down there. I had a little history with them in basketball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not much of it was good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, uh, we sure do appreciate your guys' time, and we wish you all success tonight. Strike lightning. Strike lightning. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, we are back here at the Evangel Sports Complex. Get, action's about to get underway in about 23 minutes. So head coach Tim Smith's Lightning Squad showcased their offensive power in our last outing. outing. First-year quarterback Kemp Swords showing his remarkable ability of passing, 11 of 15 for 225 yards, followed up by senior running back Caleb Austin, who was an absolute force, racking up 110 yards and an incredible four touchdowns. And don't overlook the impenetrable senior defense that stood strong throughout. Allen, with the Lightning's offense firing on all cylinders and the defensive in top form, how do you see tonight's game unfolding against the Evangel Christian Academy Lions? Well, I did a little digging on on uh, the Lions here, and there's not a whole lot to go on on, uh, on uh, Max Preps. Uh, we do know that they have – a lot of new players from last year. We do know this. We know, we know they opened their season last year with us, and they're opening their season again this year uh, with us because they had a cancellation last week. Last year didn't go so well for them. We won the game 48 to nothing. 
And uh, in that game, um, you know, there was very little passing. In fact, uh, Will Welch was our leading rusher. He had 108 yards and on five carries and a touchdown. And, of course, Hunter did his thing with 94 yards and three touchdowns. There were only 13 passes thrown the whole game. And um, not much need. So, I got a feeling they'll have a chip on their shoulder because that team started out 0-2, won their third game, lost their next three to go 1-5, and five, and then rebounded with a five-game five, stri- five game win streak to win the AISA title. Yeah. I believe corner beat Cornerstone, right. right? So they've got a lot more confidence going into this season than they did last year right. against us. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know. Right. Uh, we don't have a lot to go on in terms of in terms of stats and who's the, who's their leading carrier. We we know who the returning players are. Just watching them in warmups. Uh, looks like. They have two quarterbacks warming up, Braden Fuller, number 11, and then they had number 15 um, junior quarterback, uh, Markevian Johnson. Of the two, Braden Full- Brendan Fuller just looked a little smoother to me. I, I, we don't know if he's going to be the starter or not. They have two senior running backs. I believe it's pronounced Kayam uh, Chavis, uh, senior senior running back, and DJ Mack, uh, number one and no- or number zero and number five. So that's who I'd be on the lookout for. Yeah, I think you're right. Even the coach, Coach Smith alluded to the fact we don't have a whole lot on them. Um, one thing we mentioned earlier is special about tonight. We're, we're honoring the, uh, the 10th anniversary of the first undefeated Evangel Christian Lightning football team back in 2013. So we're going to turn it over to PA announcer Kirk Stallings as he uh, calls out the team. Please give a warm welcome and turn your attention to the field for a special announcement from the administrator of Avenger Christian School, Mr. Bill Snuggs. Welcome, Lightning Faithful. As ECS administrator, I have the privilege tonight of announcing a historic event in the life of the ECS athletics program. In this, the 20th year of our school as we celebrate our national championship football team of 10 years ago, we also celebrate the 10th year of our beloved home for athletics, the Evangel Sports Complex. Over 10 years ago, while enrolled in and serving the school in many and various volunteer capacities, The Clayton and O'Neill families formed the Evangel Schools Foundation, which purchased what we now know as Evangel Sports Complex. So to the continuance of ECS and its vision of homeschooling to know the preeminence of Christ, will you please help me welcome and thank the Clayton and O'Neill families for their extraordinary generosity and dedication to that vision. Howard, Bill, Kathy, and your families, please come out. Tonight, out of gratitude to God and to honor honor what he has done through this tremendous gift to ECS, we are pleased to announce that our football baseball field will, from this point forward, be named Clayton O'Neill Field at Evangel Sports Complex. Now as I give them some plaques, I'll hand it back to Kirk. Tonight, we'd like to recognize the 10th anniversary of the first Lightning football team to go undefeated. The team also won the ACSC and NACA Division I championships.
Colin Carr, number six. Clay O'Neill, number eight. Drew Bell, number nine. Mason Murphy, number 10. Nathan Scott, number 13. Grant Webster, number 21. Pete Sullivan, number 24. Cameron Kemp, number 26. Sam Stockman, number 32. Davis Adair, number 44. Tyler Bird, number 52. Ben Wesson, number 56. Andrew Morris, number 70. Will McCall, number 72. Noah Kissack, number 82. J.D. Hyde, number 87. Caleb Daniels, number 88. And Aaron Clayton, number 99. Coaches, head coach, Dale Clayton. Danny Scott. Johnny Carr. Kerry Sullivan. Carl Kemp. And athletic director, Howard O'Neill. Let's hear it for the 2013 first undefeated Lightning football team. Help us play this game. Help us show a Christ-like attitude in all that we say and do. Thank you again for the chance to play for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You heard mentioned earlier, honorary captains to, for tonight's game are the members of the 2013 Evangel Lightning team. And then our captains from the current team is number 20, senior Colton Dura, and number 32, senior Grady Watkins. Captains for the Evangel Christian Lions, number zero, senior Chiam Chavis, number five, senior DJ Mack, and number four, senior Andre Stoddard. Number four, Andrew so the Clark. captains have made their way to midfield, waiting on the Black coin toss. And we will watch and, and see what's going to happen next. Hey, we've got a data signal. <laughs> it's green for a moment. So, we'll, yeah, we'll, um, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll obviously uh, go home and edit the, the video tonight and um, get the, the full – uh, unbuffered version up on YouTube later on, if not later tonight, first thing in the morning. We also have a drone on the field. I'm wondering, is that Coach Welch? Is, uh... That is Chad Parks. Oh, okay. Chad <laughs> Parks. I saw, him, I saw him working it earlier. Nice. The Lions have won the top I told him to send me some second video second. so I could uh, post the it on our Instagram. Yeah. That's one thing I want to get for the media club one day. It's just not the highest priority right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we're already off to a good start because Colton Duro's not in a boot. Yeah, that's, right. that's it's really good to see that young man back out there. You know, we talked, Coach Smith talked about depth at running back, and it never hurts to have one more that, back there that can pound. So, and he yeah. he definitely can if, when he's healthy. Yeah. 
He's a pile mover. Yes. They want to take a minute and mention our first quarter sponsors, the Bailey Land Group and Homewood School of Music. There you go. I know those you guys. Know those folks. <laughs> so we're thankful for our sponsors. Uh, you know, nothing, none of this will be a, a possibility without folks willing to pour back into this community. So, and there they are, your lightning take the field. Now it really feels like football season, Brad. Yeah, we're up on it's top the, of the uh, – It's the first time. The you know? scaffolding. Yeah. Sweating. Our team running out of their home tunnel in their home blue jerseys. Yeah. The new Carolina blue numbers. Yeah, we've, we've seen them twice in the whites, which are good-looking jerseys, but I like the Navy. Yeah, I'm a Navy. I'm more of a yeah. Navy guy. Which is odd because the players, if they had their choice, I think they would wear white every week. Yep. And we're back on a uh, an official eight-man football field this time. That's Eight, true. 80 yards yep. by 40 yards. So, first one of those we've played on in a, in a minute because we played in Panama City last year. It wrapped up on a 100-yard field. Alan, I didn't pay attention. Who won the coin toss? Uh, visitors won the coin toss okay. and, and chose to defer. Okay. I, I'm trying real hard not to say Evangel Christian because that's right. just going to confuse everybody. <laughs> it is confusing. It's We've ECA, got, so yes. if I, but ECA is even close to ECS. Yeah. So, so we'll go with the Lions. Yeah, the, yeah, Lions. the Lions. There you go. Yeah. That's that's better. Or the yeah, Lions. Yeah, yeah. The Lions won the coin toss, chose to defer. So your, uh, your Evangel Lightning offense will get to start the first quarter out. One of the most interesting things to me about this eight-man game, and you heard Coach and Scott talk about it, is the whole kicking. You know, in 11-man football on a 100-yard field, you usually get a lot of deep kicks. and uh, So it would be interesting to see what Evangel Montgomery Lions, sorry, the Lions do on their kickoffs. I think you heard what we're going to do, and hopefully none of the uh, none of the Lions were listening to Coach Smith's pregame show because he already gave it away. We're, we're kicking those high. <laughs> Midfield punt uh, kicks, I say punts. Hey, they've been working. It's been very effective. Yeah. And Evangel Montgomery works too. Evangel Montgomery, yeah. Yeah. Take that. They got the uh, looks like almost like LSU. Oh yeah. Colors out there. So that's number twenty nine or twenty five. Number twenty five. Joshua, Joshua McCoy. McCoy kicking, and Caleb. Back deep for the Lightning. All right, he'll get a chance at it. Setting up a wall on the left side of the field. Oh, that looks good, Brad. He's got some room, and he will be brought out of bounds at around the 32-yard line. Man, I love that wall. Oh, I do too, man. I get excited when I see execution like that. That was that was good special teams play. Good execution, and also the kickoff team for the for the Lions just kind of converged in the middle of the field instead of staying in their lanes, and that will really allow that wall to, to yeah. set up for us on the return team. Yeah, good point. So a little rotation looks like on the line. we got Reed Castleberry and Ethan Stallings in at guard. Good to see Ethan back for a second week yeah. in a row. Empty back set, and we got him. Looks like a motion. Thrown by the back judge. Yeah, yeah that's kind of – Oh. No, illegal substitution, illegal substitu yeah. yeah. They had nine on the field, nine in the formation. Good call. Is this their second year playing eight-man, Scott, do you know? Yes. So maybe they were still thinking 11-man <laughs> there. They were kind of in between. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Looks like sticking with the same play call. Swore is going to keep it. He's met behind the line, but it makes it back up for a short gain on first down. Lightning go fast. It always does. Mm -hmm. This time the pitch to Will Welch. He's got enough for the first, and he's still on his feet. Finally brought down after a big gain by number 68, 66, Desi Stovall. Good job, good job on Zion Thompson, man. That was real close to a block in the back, and he pulled up right at the last minute. I was waiting on the hanky to come out. Yeah, me too. They could, they could have called it, but it was pretty close. Give up the middle to Caleb. He is met and swamped at the line. 
Number two, Caleb Austin, the ball carrier. And you heard Coach talk about our uh, our offensive line. They're, you know, nowhere near 200 pounds, and looks like their defensive line for the Lions are got a few maybe just over 200, so this should be a good battle. Looking to throw, going to keep it. Looks like he gets back to the line again. Yeah, just too much penetration there initially that got Swords going the way he didn't want to go. And good push up front initially by Brad Castleberry. I'm sorry, Reed Castleberry Reed. <laughs> for Braz's death. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, Swords couldn't make it behind his block. Something we don't see a lot is third and long. Yeah, third and nine. Got Caleb Austin in the backfield. Will Welch going up in the slot. Oh, he's got Will. He's got Will. Oh. oh. But he's also has yeah. Kay, uh, Clay Stanton for the lightning touchdown. I didn't even see Clay sneak out of there. Uh, me neither. My eyes were focused on Will because he had two defenders beat and was uh, headed towards the right corner. So the lightning. Kim, Kim's got better eyes than you or I do. He does, so I mean, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Wide open on the left side there. They, they, they pulled that last week. It was the opposite way, though, because yeah. Clay was right. on the left side and snuck through the line. The double wing fakes the pitch back, gives the wheel. He oh. drops the ball. He does pick it back up, but He's not going to make the conversion there. He had a touchdown if he gets that handoff clean. Absolutely. Or a two-point conversion, but, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Two yeah, points. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to, uh, yeah. talking to uh, one of the media club members up here asking me a question about something. I missed a touchdown. So – just over a minute and 45 seconds into the game, Lightning take the lead, six to zero. Solid first drive. Scott, talking about the media club, how many members do you have in your media club now? Oh, goodness. Uh, Putting you on the spot. Abigail, 10 maybe. Do you know how many members we have now, 10 or 12? No, so, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> well. I should know that, but but it's kind of it's kind of fluid because, well, I'll talk about it yeah, later. That's fine. It, we're we're still getting some joining. So Christopher Staniscavage ready to kick. Number thirty-two, back deep. Get ready for the mighty pooch. London Belcher for the Lions. High, short, calls for a fair catch. And he makes the catch, and Clay uh, Stanton didn't see it. That was Grady. I mean, Grady, yes. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> that was a strange That's, fair catch call, yeah, but they did blow it, the whistle as soon as he caught it. Technically not a fair catch call. He yeah. did his hands out in front, not over top. Oh, they're giving it to him. Yeah. They might wave this off. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling his team to clear out. He wasn't calling fair they, catch. They didn't get above his head. They are calling it. The yeah, that's tough because fair catch is usually one arm over yes. your head oh, waving. That's right. correct. He kind of put both up and waved both of them. He, he could have been saying, get back, I got it, you know, like because the ball, there's two or three guys that could have caught that ball. But they're going to say it was yeah, a fair catch did. call. Yeah. Fair catch and then a penalty. Looking down at our sideline, all the Evangel coaches are over here doing it. It's like they're playing charades, showing all the different <laughs> hand motions. Like, which call am I? <laughs> So you called it, Allen, number 11, sophomore Brandon Fuller yeah. in at quarterback. There we go. Give up the middle. Short gain on the play, tackled by Grady Watkins and Clay Stanton. Yeah, good job by Josh Lumen stepping in the hole and making him change direction because there was a, a nice hole there until Lumen stepped into it. Be so second and nine for the Lions. So the second game in a row that Josh Lewin's been uh, holding down that weak linebacker spot to start. Yeah, the they did swap just, him yeah. and Shea Sin last week. Yeah, Another yeah. give up the middle. Got a little room. Round right in. Fortunately, Zion is there to make the tackle. DJ Mack, the ball carrier. Yeah, nice move out there. Looked like Zane Barlow might have been in position. It was, it was yeah. a good block by the wide receiver, yeah. though. And the running back made a good move to cut outside. Got turned around a little bit, looked like. 
That'll bring up first and 10 from the Evangel 28 yard line. Little pitch out just in time. And there's that Joshua Lutman we just talked about in with a tackle. Yeah. Little option action. Who was that that ate up uh, number 11? I did. I didn't get a good couldn't, look. Couldn't get a good look. I think it might have been Grady. Oh, I smell those Evangel cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah, it just hit me. <laughs> so second and seven for the Lions. I think there's a lot of Lions guys going both ways tonight. That might be in our favor. Oh, yeah. Met oh. immediately in the backfield by Grady Watkins. Yeah, you might want to block number 32. At least put a put a hand on him. Yeah. If you're going to run it in his direction. So that loses five yards. Third and 12. Big third down to hear the sideline getting fired up. Little pro set. Mm. Give to DJ up the middle, met in the hole by Josh Lumen. Number five, DJ Mack, the ball carrier. Yeah. Picks up three. Sorry, Brad. No, you're good. A little bit of an interesting call for third and 12, wouldn't you think? Yeah. I guess they were planning on going for it on fourth regardless. It looks that way. Well, have we seen them pass yet? No. Yeah, maybe that's the reason. Well, well, he looked good in the in, uh, in the pregame passing. In fairness, I think what we thought was an option was technically a pass. Yeah, true. Because it was forward. Yeah. But it functions like a run. But I don't like know. I was saying about the warm-ups, um, Brandon Fuller's got an arm. He looks smooth. Yeah. I mean, he can throw the ball. And we may see that right here on fourth and nine. Looks like a uh, – not a full heat timeout, but a but a water break. It actually feels pretty good right now compared to uh, <laughs> compared to earlier yeah, in the yeah. day. Setting up at five o'clock is brutal. Yep, and they are not in punt formation. Empty backfield. He may be their punter as well. Trips to the right. It's a pretty shallow drop for a punter. Let's see see what they do here. Lightning bringing four. Looking to throw, goes up the middle. Got him. Not going to have the first down. Tackle by number six, senior Cole Romano. Yeah. Along with Grady Watkins again. Yeah, Hayden Black got a, got a lick on him, slowed him down, and I think that helped for sure. Not a bad play call there no. on fourth down when you got those speedy yeah. defensive yeah. ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a they had a, a numbers match at least. Uh, they they kept the tight end in to block, but uh, just just a good job by rushing from our guys. Yeah. Good job of getting off their blocks too and getting back upfield because he was past them. Stanton's got to come out for some reason. He doesn't have his knee pads on. Got his pants pulled up above his knees. Ain't that one of Coach's pet peeves mm -hmm. there, Scott? Yes. <laughs> I, I just saw Coach Smith throw his hands up in the air. Thanks to Gil. Throwing out in the flat to Will Welch. Good block. He's got some room. He steps out of bounds at the 35. That's an RPO right there. That's he had the option to run it or throw it, and Welch was wide open with blockers in front of him. Yeah. Play good. Yeah, good job blocking. I didn't see who that was with they, the lead block out here. They are right calling here. that a first down. Okay, it looked like he was just shy. But Probably they are, Zion. They are must have, yeah, it must have been Zion. Yeah. <laughs> first and 10 from the 35. Got Zion Thompson and Will Welch out left. To give up the middle to Caleb, arm tackled by number 66, Desi Stovall. Number two, Caleb Austin. Yeah, trap here. play, and Desi did a good job getting off the block. Play gains two, two yards, brings up second and eight. For so the far, line. they've looked pretty strong on the inside, the defensive interior there. Do you have their heights and weights on your 
roster. What's Desi? 66 Desi. 66 Desi is 6'2", junior, 275. 275. He's got us by maybe 100 pounds. Carson Donovan is. <laughs> well, Carson's in there, yeah. Yeah, Carson's 291. So. 291? Carson's 291? <laughs> I don't know. That he hides it well if no. he is. Thanks to give the Will Welch. He does gain a yard. Swords on the keeper. All right. That's with pads on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Brings up third I don't know about that one. Maybe when it's his senior spotlight, you can ask him about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's for the scouts. Absolutely. Did you get this roster from 2027? <laughs> <laughs> Looking to throw. Got Will over. Oh, oh. What? If he, oh they're going to oh. say it hit the ground. Mm. Oh, that was man. close. That was a heck of an that effort. That was close. That's a couple of low passes there by Swords. Yep. Brings up fourth and seven for the Lightning. Yeah, so Lightning's going to punt. Fourth down. We're bringing on the punt team. Will Welch is our punter. Which, if you're the Lions, you have to respect that because – Will Welch is an athlete. He's got number four, Andre Stoddard, back deep for the Lions. He does get it away. Rolls Inside out the of 20. bounds. You got to like that. Yeah. Inside the 20, no chance of a return. Spotted at the 14. The Lions will have the ball first and 10. On yard line. Well, that was effective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it was he, – he was – Is that our third, fourth punt of the year? I don't know. That hadn't been many. Has not. I think we did punt a couple of times in the Gatlinburg game. Yeah. Yeah. And last week in the fourth quarter, second half, I think. Yeah, we, we might have punted We had the second, once. second yeah. stringers had, in. Yeah, second team we punted. I guess we should also mention the Lightning have a number of players going both ways. Zion Thompson, Caleb Austin. Yep. Clay Stanton. Clay Stanton's playing some on offense. We saw Grady when go his, in. When his knee pad's in position. Looking to throw, and he pulls the trigger too early. Incomplete. Fastball is incomplete. Brings up second and ten for the Lions. Second and 10 for the Lions. Five minutes and 20 seconds, 26 seconds to play. Got to be getting close to a heat timeout, I would think. Josh Lumen back in for the second consecutive series. That we Give up the middle. Right. He's cut down. Five, Is that Hayden? That's Hayden Black. Hayden Black. Loss of two. Coming in from the linebacker Second position. Sticking with Lumen, I didn't. I didn't notice last week. Uh, did, did did they platoon yeah. at the wheel linebacker again last week? Him and Chase. Yeah, Josh got the start. Um, they did swap back in and out some. Kind of like this game. It looked like they 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 left Josh in for a few series before we saw Chase. Yeah. Looks like a quarterback keeper all the way. Not going to happen. There's Josh Lumen, Lumen brings him out of bounds. On the Lumen's been active this first quarter. He has. That's three or four times we've called his name. Brings up fourth and 11. Looks like the punt team is coming on for the Lions. Caleb Austin back deep. Boy, kicking for the Lions. Uh -oh. Play Stanton uh -oh. in his uh -oh. face, and he gets it. Get it. Touchdown. Cole Romano picks it up for the lightning touchdown. I was just thinking you got Clay Stanton at 6'5". Yeah. Right there in the middle, that's tough to kick over. Practically untouched. Yeah, he, he probably could have just picked, touched. Yeah. So lightning on for a two-point conversion. Double wing. 
Oh. Give up to Caleb, and nobody will even be near him. There's that pirouette again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so difficult to defend a multiple offense like Evangels. I mean, yeah. you you got spread one minute, you got double wing the next, you yeah. got a pro set. I mean, they mix it up really well, does Hagen Joyner and Coach Smith calling to prepare for so much. But so Evangel, gonna... Evangel ma manages to find a way to put it in, though. So. They are going to call for a heat timeout, so we'll take a quick timeout with them and listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Looking for a picture-perfect smile? Visit Ortho South in Pelham or Calera. We are Alabama's most experienced Invisalign provider, and we've been helping people smile with confidence for over 23 years. So schedule your free consultation today by visiting orthosouth.com or calling 205-235-3134. And remember, smile on. All right, we are back after that heat timeout. Evangel Lightning will be kicking off for the fourth time this quarter. Third time. Yeah. And I think we all know what we're going to get. No, second time. Second time. Yeah, because yeah, we got the ball first. Yes. And hopefully the Lions took a uh, class about calling fair catches. <laughs> yeah. Hits the ground. A little bit of room around left side. He's got the edge, but he's brought down out of bounds by number 27, John Tyler Curran. So a little something positive there for the Lions. They got speed. They definitely have speed. Yeah, athleticism is not going to be the question when you're playing against. Going to look to throw. Steps up in the pocket. That He's hit as he oh, passes. Yes, sir. Picked off by Caleb Austin. Taking it around oh. right in. <laughs> Got that some was blockers out front. Oh. And he is going to take it to the house. Oh. Touchdown, Lightning. That was a great block, I got to admit. <laughs> I think I know who, who had that block. Yeah, that was Zane Barlow on the block. <laughs> great job. He sprung it. He sprung it. Great job on Caleb. Just get his head up and catch the ball. Make a cut to the right. Hit that block, and he's gone. Credit that to, I believe it was Grady Watkins that tipped that pass. I think it was Grady. He tipped it, or he, he kind of just it, tackled him as he was throwing He it. may have just yeah. – he, he definitely affected the pass. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Caused it to float. Yeah. Going double wing again for the two-point conversion. Same Give call. to Will Welch. Same call from the other side. Other side. Yep. So Lightning take a 22 to nothing lead with three minutes and 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. We'll take a quick time out here. Listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Birmingham Broker was started in 2008 to help people get the most money for their vehicle. Our goal is to remove all the stress that comes with trading a vehicle or trying to sell it yourself. Avoid unfavorable trade numbers and having to meet strangers at Walmart. Let Birmingham Broker take the stress off of you and get you money in your pocket as well. Come today. We are back again. Thankful for our sponsors. Lightning off to a quick, fast lead. Another pooch kick. Hits the ground right below his feet. It is going to be 
recovered Ooh. by the Lions. Yep. Number 10, got it. That's two he's Lions. dropped like right below mm -hmm. the feet. He's making it hard for him to, yes. to grab it, that's for sure. So we have a, a an offensive touchdown, a special teams touchdown, now a defensive yeah. touchdown. Yeah. What's next? Uh, Is that equivalent <laughs> to hitting the cycle? That's in the, the three phases. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is Coach going to run out there and score one? Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess he could try. He could try. We just need a field goal. So who do safety. we have in for Caleb? Caleb looked like he's yeah, Caleb was, uh, got a little fatigued. Shaking up a little bit there. Yeah. Will Welch is out there. Yes. Yeah, we got Welch. All right. And Chase is back in again for his second rotation. Second series. Empty backfield. Whoa. Quick jump there. Whoa. Cole Romano grabs him by the shirt. Throws him down. We got a new quarterback in for the Lions. Freshman, Mackey Williams. I'm sure I butchered Mackey. Yeah, I don't think it matters who you put back there when there's four lightning defenders in the backfield that quick. Yeah, he wasn't touched. That's that's a couple of times we've said that tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got size. They've got girth, but we definitely have speed on the yeah. defensive line, and we're seeing it win so far. And you see I'm bringing in a couple tight ends here to try to eliminate some of that. Number one quarterback, quarterback keeper again loses yards. That time it was Tobias, Tobias. Mellamore. Number one junior, Tobias Mecklemore. Oh, Mecklemore. Sorry, Mecklemore. Looks like we've got uh, – well, Grady was a little shaken up, but he's coming off the field here. Got Grady and Shays coming out. Reed Castleberry. Tackle for a loss brings up third and 15 for the Lions. And Clay Stanton in. Oh. Also have Carson Donovan in at nose. Yeah. It's a little change up here. Third and 15. They're going back to Brandon Fuller, oh. quarterback. Oh. Carson Donovan with his first career sack. <laughs> Number 60, Carson Donovan, tackle for a loss. Brings up fourth and long for the Lions. Fourth and 21 for the Lions. Will Welch back to punt or receive the punt. Yeah, I can't read the numbers on their uh, their shoulders. Clay Stanton in the middle again. They do get the kick off. Will Welch fills it clean. Wrestled down. Number seven, Will Welch on the return. That one was almost blocked as well. Yeah, that was really close. Is that Cole? Yeah, that was that Cole. That was Cole, yep. Cole had a good series too. Didn't call it out, but two plays ago on the, or the first down play, the, the run to the right. Cole on the on the tackle in the backfield. All right, got a wrinkle here. Mm, Fifty-five out. Fifty-five. Wide. Uh, Emerson, Emerson Dollins. You don't see this formation every day. He's a blocker. Throws that. it out to Will. <laughs> Will's got wheels. Oh, uh, <laughs> he gets a little bump. I don't think you can give Dollins credit for a block there, but. <laughs> He was an obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> there was no contact no. made. <laughs> the defender tried to run around him to get to Will, and he couldn't get around him before Will squirted loose. Same formation, Same different point. personnel here. First and goal. Reed Castleberry out there. Same throw. He's getting the block. Will is brought down out of bounds. Pass is complete to number seven, Will Welch. Pushed out of bounds by number 32, Vulture. What does uh, Hagen call this formation? He told us last year. Five but I don't remember yeah. now. Yeah. I can't remember what happened last week. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Much less last year. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Oh, he's Just shy. Just shy. No, oh, touchdown. Oh, well, the air horns are back. Yeah. Tonight is the uh, uh, 
I'm assuming a luau, is that right? Right. Luau's the theme luau. for tonight. I noticed Abigail has her flowers on. <laughs> oh, and and so does uh, Yeah. Uh, so they does must, were they giving them out when y'all came in, the, the lays? No, I got this one from my friend. Oh, okay. Ah. I've seen several students wearing the lays, so I didn't know if they were giving them out at the gate. 28 to nothing against the defending AISA state champions. That's uh, pretty impressive <laughs> first quarter. I mean, we yeah. haven't had a 28 to nothing lead on anybody in the first quarter. It's probably the reason the rest of the conference won't play us. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Well, we mentioned before, Alan mentioned that they kind of had a slow start last year yeah. with a lot of losses and then came back strong at the end, so. The good thing for the Lions is this is not a conference game for them. Yeah. I see uh, 22 checked in. Stone Henderson, you heard Coach talk about him a little bit in the pregame, too, as somebody to be looking out for. Colton Dura in it. Oh, Running they... back. My money's on Colton. Get to the ball. And he pounds his way in for the conversion. End up number 20, Colton Dura. Good for the two point try. Your score, Lightning 30, line zero. 30 to zero. Good to see Colton out there. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had a lot of injury in his career, so. Senior year, good to see him out there getting a carry. Minute and 10 left to go in the first quarter. Fantastic crowd for the first home game tonight. I don't know if you've already mentioned that, but. Yeah. No, we didn't. Packed house at the Evangel Sports Complex. And people still coming in at the gate. Yeah, they are. That's the second stringers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks to our new, uh, our new payment system, we don't have cars backed up into the. Highway 119 tonight like last year either. <laughs> yep. If you do come to the sports complex this year, we are taking credit cards and debit cards at the gate and concession stand. We're fancy. Fancy like Applebee's. Oh, he Little oh. kick. Exciting. No fair catch that time. He, oh, he almost oh. made the tackle. <laughs> Tackled by number 24, I believe that's Braden Braden Reeves. Reeves. Number seven, Williams. And he was a, if it hadn't been for Braden, that would have been a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, we may be done kicking it deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the, the effect was basically the same, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. Just ex exuded a little bit more energy. Higher risk, though. Yeah, it, and it gives something for coach to emphasize in practice yeah, kickoff, deep kickoffs, that is. By emphasize, you mean yell at them. <laughs> <laughs> Carson Donovan going back in on defense. Uh, psych. No. Nope. Coming back out. Chase is back in at weak side linebacker. Caleb's back in. New as quarterback. Well. Tackled by Clay Stanton. That's number What's that? Was it 15. Markavian Johnson. Markavian, yeah. yeah. He was the other quarterback we saw warming up in the uh, you know, pregame. Do pick up a yard. Now, have we seen 11 on the field since they pulled him out? Did he get hurt? No, nah, he's been back. He, they handed it off. They had like number one and number seven in there a little bit. Right. And then they went back to him. Oh, they did. Okay. On that drive, but. Not Just trying to now. find a spark somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's standing over to the left side of the. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Line over there. Ooh. Oh, Grady coming in with some violence. Ball is loose, but the whistle is blown. <laughs> <laughs> they blew the whistle. Coach Clay didn't hear the whistle. <laughs> That was kind of a delayed draw. Yeah, good play with Grady. Play loses yards. So that will end the first quarter of play. Quarter good guys up, 30 to zero. Line we'll take a break zero. and listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel.
Bailey Lamb Group provides land survey and professional engineering services specifically related to land development. We are centrally located in Montevallo, Alabama and perform surveys across the states of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Tennessee. We also provide engineering services in these states as well as others across the southeast. Bailey Land Group, where we measure our success on the success of your project. With over 25 years of experience in financial services, Chandler Financial Group can help you tailor a financial plan that meets your unique needs. Call Chandler Financial Group today at 205-620-9499 to schedule your initial consultation. Securities offered through Securities America, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Securities America Advisors, Inc. Chandler Financial Group, Inc. and Securities America are separate companies. Got the old flea flicker. No. Oh. Broken up by Zion. Great defensive play by Zion. He timed that perfectly. He did. Like a nanosecond before that, it's it's uh, pass interference. But couldn't have timed it better. You know, this team looks well coached. They're big. They're fast. But, man, this just th – I would just not want to go up against this defense. <laughs> yeah, it, it's tough. This is just – a. It's just a finely tuned, well-oiled machine. Well, I mean, you got to think with all the success we had last year and pretty much the whole defense short of a couple are back. So Yeah. They'll bring up fourth down. They are going to punt. Drops <laughs> the ball. Drops the snap. We're going to just let him kick it. <laughs> yeah, don't, you don't want to risk a yeah, penalty there. No. Actually, a nice punt. Backs us up inside our own 10 yard Punch line. Down inside the 10 yard line. Okay. Lightning will take over first and 10. What you got? I think it's Kai Gray time. I want to oh, yeah. see Kemp sling it. Kai Gray jumped out of nowhere. Nowhere last week. Nowhere. With two incredible catches. 90 plus yards receiving yeah. on two yeah. big catches. Yeah. And he laid the wood on uh, <laughs> out there, too. That's so. right. I forgot about that. <laughs> he put the hammer down. Yeah. So, you know, 30, you know, you hate to jump on an opponent 30 to nothing and pile it on, but well, if we're going to do it, now's the time. Yeah, well, yeah, right. I don't see him out there. Maybe it'll maybe it'll be later. Maybe it'll happen. Empty backfield. Pop pass to Will Welch. Round left in. He's oh. got some Oh. Nice tackle out there by number 1. Number Tobias McLemore. Yeah, McLemore had six. the speed to match. Play by it looked like Grady Watkins had the Block to spring him to the outside. Yeah. Second and one for the Lightning. Second and one. Should mention real quick our sponsors, yes. Enhanced Dental and Birmingham Broker for this quarter. We appreciate their sponsorship this year. Quarterback keeper up the middle. Oh, he might We're go. We're going to see sword speed. Nobody's going to take him. it to the house. Touchdown, the Lightning. Man, he turned on the Jets and was distancing himself from the closest defender. That was impressive. I, I, I swear. I know it sounds derogatory, but I just want to call him Squirrel. <laughs> Call him what? <laughs> squirrel. 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 Cause, cause, squirrel. Because the first game, <laughs> his his sudden speed just surprised me so much. I just wanted to dub him the squirrel. He's got a burst. That, that, that's a that's a good analogy, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't think he'll mind it. <laughs> if you're watching, give us a thumbs up if you like squirrel for <laughs> swords. Yeah. I don't know. Can you do thumbs up? Yeah, the comments? live chat, folks. What do you think about the nickname? Zion. <gasps> oh. oh. Number one read that from the get-go. Yeah. Tried a little pick play out there. and Tossing nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he almost tossed a nut to uh, the Lions that time. That's right. All right. The Lightning extend the lead 36-0. to zero. Ten minutes and 45 seconds to play in the half. Yeah, games like this has got to be fun as an offensive coordinator. Hagen's got to be having a blast. Yeah. And Coach Clay on defense as well. I mean, they're clicking. Yeah. 
it gets kind of tough for us up here. <laughs> Coming up for more ways to explain how how well we're playing. Yeah. I thought last week was great in that sense, just because we got we got some second stringers in, and it yeah. you know. I, I it, imagine we'll see some of that in the second half here as yep. well. Yep. It's kind of like last year we talked about walking the line of getting your first string reps and being good yep. sportsmen at the same time. Mm -hmm. And also, I believe Coach mentioned it on one of his shows if wasn't last Call week or the week before pitch. about how he had, um, he had uh, you know, just felt like he had cheated his seniors one year. I think it was last year because we were 13-0. We were on a hot clock most of, the, most of the season. And he wanted to make sure that these seniors, you know, That's got, to, exp point. got to really experience their senior year. So It's a big group of seniors, too. Is it 16 seniors on yeah, the roster? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. yeah. Maybe one of the biggest yeah. groups since I've been Pretty sizable around. junior class behind them, I think, thir 13 juniors. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and makes it even more amazing what Eli Whitfield was able to accomplish because he ba basically only played a half most of the season last year. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Him and Hunter, you think about all the yards. Yep. Tackle for a loss. Yeah, Cole Romano. the Lions offensive line's coming off well, but they're just not able to sustain any blocks. Our, our defensive line is just doing such a good job of getting off the blocks. But, you know, like Coach Smith said, they're just doing what they do. You know, they're just keeping on, keeping on. Have yet to complete a pass unless you to go all the way back to that option pass we Pop were pass. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't even think that was a – Really, it's almost a backward pass, wasn't it? So that, anyway, that's a pass. There you go. There we go. First pass. Got some positive yards. Got Caleb pushes him out of bounds. He's got the first. That's what you got to do against yeah. this defense. Get the ball out quick on the perimeter. You got to, you got to execute. And it's got to be quick because even right there, Reed Kesselberry was within a hand's reach of a sack. Yeah, and it's, and it's the little things on defense like you just saw Caleb Austin do. I mean, if he takes a bad angle right there, you know, that man's gone. But he took the right angle to, to leverage the sideline and uh, was able to knock him out of bounds. Looked like there was a – Two penalties? There's a penalty for roughing the passer. Oh, okay. Oh. Penalty against the lightning. Well, he did this like he was saying it was declined, so – that's that's a tack on to the end of the play kind of penalty right play. there. You, you, that's not a snap the ball before. It's not the, anything a, a team would decline. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. But. Yeah, no flag on there. I think they just uh, snapped the ball before the official yeah. had put it in play. Chains were still moving. So I think first time they've made it across midfield tonight. Joshua Lumen back in. Playing down on the line, it looks like. Yeah. It's an interesting Hand defensive in the formation. Dirt. Going backwards, not oh, going to yeah. work out well for you. Another great job there by the defense. You had Joshua Lumen playing inside out technique from the linebacker position, and then you had Zane Barlow on the outside keeping contain. There was nowhere for him to go. Yeah, Zane got a, Zane got a pop, and then Grady cleaned it up, finished the job. Great, great containment. The lines are across midfield and for now. Got something positive happening for now, yeah. <laughs> Keep second and thirteen. Well they look like LSU. It kind of reminds me of a game that LSU crossed the mid midfield once and that was it. That's true. <laughs> Empty backfield, quick pass out. Trying to reverse field. Oh, he did. Got a little room. Good block by number seven there. Brought Grady. down out of bounds yep. by Hayden Black. McKee Williams or Mech Mechie Williams, three, number seven, got a great, great block on Grady. Got a few extra yards there, making a reasonable third, third and manageable here, third and six. Play game seven brings up third and six for the Lions. Yeah, they may have found something here trying to get the, like Scott said, get that ball out a little quicker. Yeah. 
And then just going backyard football, reversing field. Yeah, and then off of that, you know, fake that little quick toss out there and release a man down the sideline, and you can go up top. Yeah. So third and six for the Lions, eight minutes to play. Going to be a heat, heat break yep. here, so we'll take that time out with them. We'll listen to a word from our sponsor as you're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Enhanced Dental is redefining the dental experience by helping you achieve and maintain comprehensive dental wellness. Dr. Morris and his staff are highly skilled and trained in several areas of dentistry, including preventative and general dentistry, root canals, dental implants, and cosmetic dentistry. They pride themselves on providing painless dentistry with a focus on aesthetics and helping you maintain a healthy smile for life. Contact Enhanced Dental today to schedule your appointment and experience extraordinary dental care. Strike lightning. All right, all the players and referees got a chance to hydrate. White hat coming to the side. Maybe he didn't get a chance to hydrate. Digging for something. In his Where is he? He, is. he came over here and got him a Gatorade. Got him a uh. Gatorade. <laughs> Stuck it in his pocket. <laughs> he came prepared with his own cooler. That's uh, Cliff Manus. He's been. He's. Oh, Cliff, run the. Uh, or used to run the flag football NFL, program. Yep. Yeah, this was his first year not to. Oh. Pass over to uh, to nobody. That's incomplete. Not on the same page there. No. Brings up fourth and number four looked like he was running the post, and number seven thought he was running the the fade with the flag route. Now this is my first year to be involved with the flag football league, and he. He gave the opening meeting to all the coaches this year, but said it was just he was stepping away. He turned it over to the city of Alabaster. So gotcha. Yeah, that's what Simon used to play. My youngest, he used to play. He yeah. played a couple of years in the NFL league. So fourth and six, offense stays on the field. Got the freshman Mickey Williams in at quarterback. Looking to throw. Oh, yes. Had a man, but he got picked. Oh. Clay Stanton with the. Uh, Clay. With the you can't do that, Clay. Every you flag on the field comes out. Play. That was a, yeah, blindside block. Yeah, blindside. You just can't do it. Dude. Even, this, even the yeah. official <laughs> on this side of the field threw his flag. Yeah. Four flags. It was like flag day. Yeah, just not, not necessary. Well, it's post post interception. It's a post, you know, right. post pick foul, so it'll just back them up. But sometimes the hit is just it's just too juicy. It's you just know, too hard you just, to turn down. Yeah, you just want to take a bite. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can't fault. I mean, you, 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 you do fault him, but you can't fault a player for. I like uh, you know, I'm a big Steelers fan. Mike Tomlin, one of his favorite sayings I love. He goes, "I'd rather say woe than sick him." Yeah, you know. <laughs> I love that saying. Yeah, that's you know, great. You know, and so sometimes that's just going to happen. Gr Grady's an aggressive player. or no, Sorry, Clay. Yeah. He's an aggressive player. So after the penalty, it'll be first and 10 from our own 26. Empty backfield for Kemp Swords. Looks like man coverage. Pop pass to Caleb, around left end. Picks up maybe a yard on the play. Play gains two yards, brings up second and eight for the Lightning. Actually picked up two two yards. Second and eight. Another empty backfield for Kemp Swords. Going to look to throw. Has to pull it down. Gets back to the original line. 
He had his man on a slant, but he had a defender right against his face. Yeah, 32. He's a tall defend, defensive end, and he was right there. Probably a smart move by Kemp to eat that one and live to play another down. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to eat it, and that was, that was the time to do it for sure. So after that, no gainer. It'll be third and eight. Little pro set this time. Tight end, flanker left. Looking to throw, dumps it down to his checkoff. Somehow or another gets out of the first tackle, gets back, maybe picks up a yard. Our second punt of the game coming up, it looks like. Yeah, fourth and eight. Yeah, good call by Kemp there to check down because who was that going downfield? Was that uh, Stanton? Somebody was covered up pretty well in the secondary. Brings up fourth down for the Lightning. Yeah, we will see the punt team. Will Welch kicking. I can't see the number. Number four, Andre Stoddard back deep for the Lions. Good, nice high kick. Great kick. Fair catch called for and taken at the 22. Nice punt. Yeah, Will's, Will's got a leg. Had that great directional kick Long earlier in the half. First and 10. Yeah. For his first punt pinned him behind the 15-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Yeah, good job by the officials coming in really quick and blowing that whistle and calling off the dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hayden Black was right there to make the tackle. So first and 10 from the Lions from their own 22. Yeah, five minutes to play in the second quarter, and it looks like the Lions offense is kind of sluggish, getting sluggish already. They're kind of walking out onto the field. It's been a long, almost half for them. Direct step to number five in the Wildcat. Yeah, a little Wildcat action with the running yeah, back. Five, DJ Stanton stood here. him up in the backfield. Tackle by number 13, Clay Stanton. Play loses a yard. Got Carson Donovan checking in and Clay Stanton staying in. Yeah, so is, is Stanton going to linebacker or are we going to have four down this time? So we're going to have a four-man front. Interesting. Yeah, four. Four down. Snapped through his legs. Oh, wow. Covered up by Grady Watkins. Play recovered by the Lions. That was a pretty quick whistle. He didn't look yeah. to me like he had possession. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, he saw Grady hit hunting. Oh, heat timeout. Another heat timeout. So we'll take that timeout with him. Listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Healthy Harvey's in Pelham, Shelby County's original premier health and wellness shop since 1978. Stop by for natural foods, vitamins, herbs, weight loss products, CBD, and so much more. Thank you for shopping local, and thank you for shopping Healthy Harvey's. Are you looking for a skilled and experienced realtor in Alabama? Look no further than Jennifer Smith with Keller Williams Metro South in Alabaster. Jennifer specializes in helping clients buy, sell, and invest homes in Shelby County. With her expertise and dedication to her clients, Jennifer is committed to bringing hope to every home, one key at a time. Contact her today and take the next step in your real estate journey. So third and 19 for the Lions deep in Evangel territory. Quick pass out. He drops the ball. 
Actually reverses field, and, but he is not – well, stays on his feet, drops the ball again. Oh, my goodness. And it is covered up oh by number God, 60 for the Lions. It's a great play call. He's, you know, just terrible execution, yeah. I hate to say. I feel bad for him. That was a wild three-yard gain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really, like, really like the call. Razzle-dazzle. I mean, they only, only got, got seven on the field now. They only had they only had Zane on the left side of the field there, and the entire Vangel defense was on the right side of the field. So they're gonna have to call a timeout. Yeah, they can't get their personnel out. right. So we'll take a timeout there and listen to another word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Are you looking for a skilled and experienced realtor in Alabama? Look no further than Jennifer Smith with Keller Williams Metro South in Alabaster. Jennifer specializes in helping clients buy, sell, and invest homes in Shelby County. With her expertise and dedication to her clients, Jennifer is committed to bringing hope to every home, one key at a time. Contact her today and take the next step in your real estate journey. So fourth and five for the Lions. Punt team is on. Nobody deep for the Lightning. High, short kick. Rolls out of bounds just past midfield. So two minutes and 47 seconds left to play in the half. Was that the first time out for the Lions or the second? That was their first. I believe it's their first. Yeah, that was their first. We just need to update the scoreboard. I get confused with the heat timeouts. Well, they're giving them two a quarter, yeah, a quarter now. Yeah, right. And sometimes they've actually called, like, sit them to their benches. Sometimes they just keep them on the field and let them drink. So. But I get lost in knowing what's oh, an actual heat what's timeout a real timeout versus an yeah. actual timeout. Right. Well, look at this formation. First and 10 from the 37. Is that Colton? Yep. The give to Caleb. Cut down after a three or four yard gain. Bring up second and seven. Play gains three yards, brings up second and seven for the Lightning. Two tights. To give to Colton. He's got the outside. Around, around the left side, picks up a first down. Finally worked out of bounds by number one, Tobias, Tobias McLemore. Yeah, good job by Henry Rhodes, along with Caleb Austin out of the backfield, sealing off that left side to spring Colton to the outside. Sorry, that was Grady Watkins beside Henry Rhodes. Yep, yeah. Another give to Colton, around left side. He's got some room. Brought down just shy of the goal line. Man, he's low. Did you see Play. Ethan's block? No. He just pancaked that defensive end. That you know, He was pulling from his right guard position and just pancaked him. That's why that hole was so big. Wow. I feel a Colton Duro touchdown coming on right here. Keeper by Kemp Swords, who makes it in for a lightning Number touchdown. Four, on the keeper, good for a lightning touchdown. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a hot clock since it's a non-conference game. Maybe they agreed to that before. We'll have to wait and see. Well, yeah. well uh, Coach Smith said last week, I thought it was 35 points. Our conference is 45 points. 45? That's what he said last oh week after the, uh, after the Central game. That's a lot. Yeah. Especially if it's second half already. Double wing for the two-point try. 
looking to throw. He has his man Caleb oh, in nice. for Beautiful. the conversion. So Lightning go up 44 to zero with a minute and 16 left to play. Beautiful touch on that pass from Kemp Swords. Yeah, definitely. Good play fake. So we have matched last week's score. Is that yes. right? Yeah. Last week was 44. And we're in the first half. To zero. Yeah. Impressive showing against the Lightning, against the defending AISA eight-man champions. If we keep this up, they won't want to play us anymore. <laughs> yes. I was mentioning to Brad on the pregame that it was 48 to nothing last year. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that was down in Montgomery. Mild stomping grounds right there off of Perry Hill Road, Perry Hill and Vaughn, hmm. where Evangel Christian Academy is located. So Christopher Staniscavage set to kick. High kick to the left side of the field. No fair catch called for. Maybe picks up a yard or two it's on the return. The Lions will start their drive at the Lightning 22 yard line. Lions will begin this drive first. Yeah, Evangel again. Christian Academy has been around for a while, right, Scott? They have. And um, as Coach said in the the pregame, they are uh, have been a powerhouse, especially in basketball. Yeah. Do we play them in basketball? I don't know if we played them last year or not. I can't remember. I don't think I don't. I know we didn't play them at home. Well, maybe we did actually. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> you're, you're challenging me when you start asking me about stuff that I happened am. last year. I am. We call so many games throughout this throughout the different sports that we have. Starting defense still on the field. Minute and eight left to play in the half. But we've played some 11-man games in football against them in the past. Mm, dangerous. Quick pass, a little too quick. Either that or that running back didn't want to have nothing to do with the footsteps that were coming. Yeah. yeah. Cole Romano was right there ready to pounce. Yeah, they got 15 Markavian Johnson back in at quarterback. Yeah, I think last year at this time, Coach would probably already be subbing some guys in, and you can see he's still got the starters out there. I mean, he just wants to let them play, you know. Yep. Especially as many seniors as we have on this defense. So this is this is it for them. I think every one of them on the field now is a senior. Nice. Speaking of senior, Hayden Black with the pick. And he should be in for a lightning That's touchdown. Good for a lightning touchdown. There's that height advantage that Lightning have, you know, six feet plus across the defensive line and secondary. And Hayden Black went up and high pointed that one and took it to the house. Yeah, just sitting back reading that quarterback eyes. 22 Stone Henderson coming in, 55 Emerson Dollins. I think we need to get a, a play count on how many different plays we see out of the double wing. <laughs> yeah. I, I just keep going, well, yeah. that's that's a new wrinkle. I mean, early on in the first couple of games, they, they, they did several. Well, here we are. We're not in the double wing now that I say that. I so know. Let's you, see what happens. You, you, you missed us up. Give the stone. Met in the backfield. Two-point Two attempt is no good. But it is, it's been interesting because the it's typically been a run. Last week, there was a lot of off-tackle right. Yep. This game, we've seen passes. We've seen pirouettes. Yeah. We've seen runs. We've seen it all. Yeah, that pirouette yeah. is a is a counter play. We actually used to run that back when I was playing. That's how old this, this yeah. offense is, you know. <laughs> we ran a single wing, kind of more of a wing T offense, but – you know, these, every time I see those plays, I'm like having flashbacks, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
So the Lightning go up half a hundo in the first half. Under a minute to play. Christopher Staniscavage's legs getting a good workout tonight. Another high kick, middle of the field. Fielded clean. Excellent. Tackled by Reed Castleberry out of bounds. Excellent execution wow. on the kick coverage there. I was kick watching them as they were running down the field. and Everybody stayed in their lane and kind of broke down and made sure you know, they didn't get sucked in too far one way or the other, and there was nowhere for the return man to go. That's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. all three phases are clicking tonight, that's for sure. Stay in your lane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell myself that a lot, <laughs> but not in football. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we got some subs coming yeah, in. Yeah, we do. Speaking of number 14, Kai checking in at cornerback here. Caleb Woods in at nose guard. Stone Henderson said cornerback. Eli Black. Is that Eli over there? Strong side line. Number nine, Number yeah, nine. I believe so. Looks like a little false. Delay. Start. Tackle by Josh Lumen. Was that supposed to be a trick play? It, 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 it tricked me. It didn't even look like their line was coming off the block, like they were just Standing around like it was a well, trick play. It worked out well for them. They do pick up yeah. a first down. One of their fir few first downs of the night. Kind of interesting timing for Coach to put in the second string with, you know, under a minute to go in the half, just kind of putting them under a little pressure to see how they perform. Yeah. Lions need to hurry. I can say 20 seconds here, and they are just going to take the knee. Interesting. Interesting call there. You know, we're putting in some backups, and they're getting close to midfield and decided to just take a knee. That's the time to strike when you yeah, got I'm two timeouts ready. sitting in your pocket. Yep. So the first half of play is over, lining up 50-0. We'll stay here and bring you the cheerleaders and color guard, and then we'll watch some, listen to some sponsors and have some first-half stats when we come back. So stay tuned.
So another fantastic performance by our color guard major reps and cheer squads. Hope you enjoyed that watching at home. So we got some stats for you from the first half. If I can read them without my glasses up here. So at quarterback, uh, Kemp Swords completed six of seven passes for 57 yards, two touchdowns, long pass of 23 yards. Uh, rushing, Caleb Austin had four carries for six yards. I want to say that's – is that right? For only six yards for Caleb? Anyway, that's what our statistician <laughs> has, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, Kemp Swords rushing six times for 75 yards, had a long touchdown uh, of 52 yards. He also had another touchdown on a shorter run. Uh, Will Welch had two carries for 21 yards, long of 12 yards for him. So the Lightning with about 120 yards uh, rushing in the first half. I'm sorry. Tough reading without my glasses on. <laughs> and then receiving, Caleb Austin had a reception for two yards. Will Welch had four receptions for 43 yards. And Clay Stanton had one reception for 13 yards. So thank you to Nora Ferris for those stats, one of our ECS Media Club members helping us out with stats on today's broadcast. So we've got about seven minutes to go at halftime. We've been joined on the broadcast team now by media club members Christina Hale handling our production software duties this half. And Anderson Cox has uh, joined us atop the scaffolding here. So again, about six and a half minutes to go at halftime. We are going to now play you some messages from our sponsors and we will be right back. Looking for a picture perfect smile? Visit Ortho South in Pelham or Calera. We are Alabama's most experienced Invisalign provider, and we've been helping people smile with confidence for over 23 years. So schedule your most money for their vehicle. Our goal is to remove all the stress that comes with trading a vehicle or trying to sell it yourself. Avoid unfavorable trade numbers and having to meet strangers at Walmart. Let Birmingham Broker take the stress off of you and get you money in your pocket as well. Visit BehamBroker.com today. Bailey Land Group provides land survey and professional engineering services specifically related to land development. We are centrally located in Montevallo, Alabama and perform surveys across the states of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Tennessee. We also provide engineering services in these states as well as others across the southeast. Bailey Land Group, where we measure our success on the success of your project. With over 25 years of experience in financial services, Chandler Financial Group can help you tailor a financial plan that meets your unique needs. Call Chandler Financial Group today at 205-620-9499 to schedule your initial consultation. Securities offered through Securities America, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Securities America Advisors, Inc. Chandler Financial Group, Inc. and Securities America are separate companies. At Davis Orthopedics, we understand the toll that athletics can take on our bodies. Our sports medicine services utilize cutting-edge surgical techniques and rehabilitation to help patients recover from injuries and surgery and get back on the field. Appointments are available online at mattdavisortho.com. Matt Davis Orthopedics is a proud supporter of Evangel Lightning Athletics. 
Enhanced Dental is redefining the dental experience by helping you achieve and maintain comprehensive dental wellness. Dr. Morris and his staff are highly skilled and trained in several areas of dentistry, including preventative and general dentistry, root canals, dental implants, and cosmetic dentistry. They pride themselves on providing painless dentistry with a focus on aesthetics and helping you maintain a healthy smile for life. Contact Enhanced Dental today to schedule your appointment and experience extraordinary dental care. Strike lightning. Healthy Harvey's in Pelham, Shelby County's original premier health and wellness shop since 1978. Stop by for natural foods, vitamins, herbs, weight loss products, CBD, and so much more. Thank you for shopping local, and thank you for shopping Healthy Harvey's. Are you looking for a skilled and experienced realtor in Alabama? Look no further than Jennifer Smith with Keller Williams Metro South in Alabaster. Jennifer specializes in helping clients buy, sell, and invest homes in Shelby County. With her expertise and dedication to her clients, Jennifer is committed to bringing hope to every home, one key at a time. Contact her today and take the next step in your real estate journey. Located at 4300 Highway 31, just north of Publix in Calera, Mac Animal Hospital is committed to restoring and preserving your animal's health. Through consultation and diagnostic treatment, using innovative technology, they provide the most advanced veterinary medicine to treat their patients. They're open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m and Saturday, 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. Dr. Parker, Dr. Gillespie, Dr. Brune, Dr. Morris, and the entire staff are proud to support the Evangel Christian Lightning. Team Massey Properties has 44 years of real estate knowledge and experience serving the real estate needs of Shelby, Jefferson, Chilton, and surrounding counties. Offering aggressive marketing strategies to position your property for the sale in an ever-changing real estate market commercial, residential, investment, land, and farm real estate services. Call or text Matt Massey for all of your real estate needs. Let's go Lightning! Locally and family owned over 21 years, Pet Stop Pet Fence Systems of Alabama has supplied over 9,000 families with the very best in pet safety and training equipment since 1994, containing over 11,000 pets. Our Pet Stop electronic pet containment systems are unmatched in the industry. With literally thousands of possible configurations, our products can be specifically tuned for your dog or cat with independently adjustable receiver settings for each pet. Give your pet the freedom to roam in your yard off-leash today. All right, we're back. The... Uh Referees made their way back to the field, having a little conversation with Coach Smith. Scott, did you give the uh, – you got the stats? You already did that for the first half? I did. Okay, cool. And um, we got a couple new members of the staff up here with us for the second half. Anderson Cox is running the camera, and Christina Hill is running production for us for the second half. Speaking of second half, who is our second – our third quarter – Sponsors tonight, Scott. Oh, yeah. Let's get those updated. So, really, you know, first half, Alan. <laughs> Sorry, I called Alan right as he was about to put a banana chip in his mouth. But, <laughs> you know, not a whole lot to say other than, you know, just a, just a dominating first half from both sides. Yeah, so far, we've, uh, we've played six quarters of football in the state of Alabama and given up zero points. I so. like that stat. <laughs> yeah. That's probably my favorite stat of all, yeah. Brad. Yeah, I think so too. Well, you had you had asked me earlier, you know, what do you want to see tonight? And I just said it's trending upward and, you know, that's that seems to be the case. I would uh, uh, Camp had a, a nice, you know, c conversion pass there out of that uh, when we were talking about the double wing and yeah. in the on the two-point conversions, that great pass to Caleb, but yeah. Hasn't had much opportunity to really sling it, you know. Right. He, he did that a little bit more last week, but I mean, honestly, though, a big part of that is just the way the game's unfolding. You know, right. uh, like we were saying earlier, we, we opened, we got an offensive touchdown. Then we got a special teams and a defensive yeah. touchdown. And before you know it, we're up three scores. Right. 
And you heard Coach talk about it in the pregame show. They, they know that Kemp can throw the ball. So you kind of you kind of play the game that you've got in hand and, you know, give give what you defense has given you. And, uh, you know, I think when the time comes that we need to push it downfield, I don't have much doubt that Kemp can do that for us. Yeah. And we saw it some last week with the two big strikes he had mm-hmm. uh, to Kai. Kai Gray on the uh, you know 90-plus yards on those two big receptions. So Yeah. And it does look like we've got, you know, uh, second stringers uh, in on kickoff team now. So it, it, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, can they uh, can they hold the rope? Can they maintain? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, my guess is the coaches would be fine. This is my guess. If the game ended at 50 to 0. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and everybody comes out. Yep. Well, and yep. no, no more, no injuries or anything like that. So, yep. the nobody wants to give up a point. Second string, third string, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So, and our third por- third quarter period sponsors are Magnolia Realty. So, contact Eileen Watkins and her team if you need any of their realty services. Looking to buy, sell, or invest, and then also Ortho South, where they say smile on. Thank you to those two sponsors for bringing you this third quarter of action at the Evangel Sports Complex. Muggy August evening. The sun is out down, but uh, but I'm still sweating. So. <laughs> Got a little bit of change on the Lions 32 back to uh, receive this kick. That's a freshman. London Belcher. Although I'd be surprised if it actually got back to Mr. Belcher. Yeah, we tried that once and it didn't go well. Well, it didn't go as good as the others. (laughs) And he does kick a high midfield kick. Fair catch is called for and taken by number seven for the Lions. So they'll start their drive first and 10 from their own 18-yard line. And we do have a bunch of new, not a bunch, some new numbers out there. Looks like that same defense we had for the last possession of the first half. John Tyler Curran, Caleb Woods, Reed Castleberry, Chase Green, Kai Gray, Stone Henderson, and Eli Black. That was impressive. You didn't even look at your sheet. I didn't. I'm getting. I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting better. I just get tongue twisted sometimes when I try to get their names out. I wouldn't have been <laughs> impressed if those were starters, but that was impressive. <laughs> As coach likes to say, "Hold the rope." With the tradition here, let's see. See what the second stringers do. Got number fifteen back at quarterback. Give up the middle, Oof. and he is brought down. Looks like. Caleb Woods got an arm in there on that tackle. Tackle on play by number 99, Caleb Woods. Play games one yard, brings up second and nine for the Lions. Again, you would, I mean, you would think second string defense out here, which you think they might try to throw the ball a little bit. It's not gone well for them when they do, so. That's true. Quarterback keeper has a little room being chased down by Eli Black, who gets the tackle, but not after a Lions first down. Yeah, a little coachable moment there for Joshua Luman. Did a good job stepping up into the hole to take on the block, but he focused more on trying to blow up the block instead of engaging and then getting off with his hands, and that allowed the the runner to slip right past him. Got number 50 senior Brock Humphrey checking in at nose guard. And he gets in the action immediately. The ball is down and loose. It is picked up by the Lions. Jamar Nickerson, number nine on the recovery. Not after a nine-yard loss. Brings up second and long for the Lions. (laughs) 
taking their time in the huddle. So apparently there is no hot clock. Little pop pass to number one. Brought down by almost the entire Evangel defense. Oh, no, I take that back. That wasn't an incomplete pass. I was that was a fumble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or a backwards <coughs> pass. Yeah. Brings up third and long for the Lions. So third and 21 for the Lions. You got to think we're going to see them throw it here. Ball is loose. Wanted to throw, but he's not going to be able to. Tackle by Kai Gray. And Kai's fast. Play gains three. Johnson, the That'll bring up fourth and long now. Looks like the putt team will come on for the Lions. And we'll get to call out a bunch of new numbers on offense. We're playing safe here, nobody back deep. I was hearing myself talk, my phone was playing the, the live stream, <laughs> freaking me out. High snap way over the head. Kai Gray says, I'm going to get it, and then backs off. <laughs> you can hear the coaches yelling at him. So a nice punt for the Lions. So your Evangel Lightning offense will take over first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. So yeah, as I see the offense uh, gathered on the sideline, who do we, who do we see? I see down Brock there? Humphreys. I see Stone <coughs> Henderson, Emerson Dollins, Eli Black. He's probably going to be in at quarterback. I think we might be under a hot clock. Now we there's are. a timeout. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Staniscavage. So we'll take a break and oh, come yes, right back. Sorry. Locally and family owned over 21 years, Pet Stop Pet Fence Systems of Alabama has supplied over 9,000 families with the very best in pet safety and training equipment since 1994, containing over 11,000 pets. Our Pet Stop electronic pet containment systems are unmatched in the industry. With literally thousands of possible configurations, our products can be specifically tuned for your dog or cat with independently adjustable receiver settings for each pet. Give your pet the freedom to roam in your yard off leash today. When it comes to environmental projects, you need a consultant with a proven track record of success. We're back first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. The give to Brock around left end, banging his way in for a first down. He fumbled. The ball oh, does come no. loose. And it is picked up by the Lions. Is that our first turnover of the season? No, we've had no, a two interceptions. interceptions. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I think it's our first fumble. First fumble. Yeah. Shades of old Craig Ironhead Hayward yeah. here, though. That was – I would have said Jerome Bettis, but he looks a little big. <laughs> So after the turnover, it'll be first and 10 for the Lions from the Lightning 31-yard line. Got Braden Reeves checked in here at a left side corner. 
Another bad Low snap. snap. Throwing it up. Has two men. Catch is made. That's complete. <laughs> Down at the half yard line. It looked like he was going to number one from the right side, but number four caught it. <laughs> That's my ball. He was looking at he was looking to the right side anyway, but hey, it worked out for him. Yeah. So first and goal from the one. Well, let's see if the defense can let's hold the can shutout. Make a stand here. The down marker says two, but it should be first and goal, right? Yes. Correct. Low snap again off his feet. They're going to lose a few. So second and goal from the four. They will lose about three yards. Brings up second and goal for the line. Three minutes and 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. Need to hurry up. Another miss snap, and he is going to be brought down behind the line by lots of blue jerseys. They're going backwards. Yep. And I think this is, you know, maybe good that we're catching these guys early in the season because their execution is clearly off. But as we've said a number of times, they came on strong toward the end of the year. They just need to – this, this is their first game of the season. You know, they're knocking off the rust. We've already played two games. Yeah, that's a good point. So clearly clearly going to be working on snapping the ball. <laughs> Number nine must not have any hands because look how tall that kid is. I would be throwing it to him every time. <laughs> yeah. Gets a good snap off, but he is going to be brought down by Reed Castleberry. He does get the throw off. That will bring up for fourth and goal from the nine. Reed Castleberry is a player, man. He would be, yeah. you know, a starter on any other defense in our conference, if not in the state. And uh, he's just playing a bunch behind a bunch of seniors on our defense. And but he's he might as well be the fourth defensive lineman, defensive line starter that is. Yeah, you heard uh, Cole talking about him in the pregame. That's right. Numbers up front, four men coming, Looking three men blocking them. Has his man, and he makes the catch, and they're the touchdown. Yep. Touchdown. So, good execution on a couple of plays results in a touchdown for the Lions. So, yeah. hats off to them. Get yep. that snout figured out, and it kind of worked out for them. Minute 30 to play in the third quarter, and the Lions are on the board. Lions will go for two. Quarterback He's looking to, to keep it, it, and oh. he is going to lose the ball out of bounds. Is that Josh Lemon? No Lindman? good. Or Chase Green, actually, got him. Yeah, I was wondering. I couldn't see it from my side over here. So two-point conversion nice fails for the Lions. That makes and it 50-6. to six. And we're probably not yeah. going to get another playoff this quarter. That's right. Love a hot clock. Yep. On these hot, muggy nights, especially. Yeah. So we will take a break right here and listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. When it comes to environmental projects, you need a consultant with a proven track record of success and results. PPM's experience and expertise makes us one of the premier environmental consulting firms in the United States. With core offices located throughout the Southeast, 
We offer advisory services nationwide and are consistently ranked by Engineering News Record as one of the 200 largest environmental firms in the U.S. For more information, visit ppmco.com today. Making a big decision in life, you want advice and help from many trusted friends, right? Well, buying or selling your home is a big decision, and that's why you should trust Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South. They're different because of their unique approach. When you choose them, you get not one, not two, but three experienced realtors working for you, each with expertise in all areas of the real estate market since 1997. Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South covers all of Shelby County. Call Eileen, Candace, and Kelly with Magnolia Realty Group. All right, we are back. Eli Black back deep for the kickoff. Low, fast, quick kick that goes out of bounds at around the 14-yard line. So let's see how this offense can do on its second play. So after the penalty yards, it'll be first and 10 from our own 25-yard line. No fumbles this time, boys. No fumbles. Christopher Stanislavich out wide. He's fast. To give the stone, he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Don't hit us in the ball here. Loses a yard on the play. Alex Martin going in, number 12. Eli McDonald, 77 in also. Another give to Stone. Takes it around right in. Looks like he'll pick up a couple of yards on the play. Finish in the ball carrier. Play game five yards. Bring up third and nine Bring up third down for down. the Lightning. Makes the give to Stone, brings it around left end. He's got some blockers. He will pick up the first down. Steps out of bounds just past midfield. That's good hands, Eli Black. That was. Yeah, he's a, he's a good ball player. He handles the ball really well. So first and ten from the Lions, 39. He's going to look to throw. Oh, he's got a little tug on the jersey. But, oh. oh, man. Off the hands. Yeah, Stannis, Stannis, Stannis Cavage, I could see clear jersey being held yeah. from all the way up here. Yeah, he's not getting that call this late in the game, though. Yeah. He still had his hands on the ball. They'll bring up second and 10 from the Lions, 39. So they keep rotating in Alex Martin and. Stannis Cavage at receiver. Yeah. Henderson and um, – oh, there he goes. Whoa. Nice run by number 50, Brock. Yeah, Brock Humphrey. Right on cue. I have to say – Somebody get a license plate on that truck? <laughs> I'm going to have to file a report on that. Seriously. Nice block there on the edge by Fowler Vick. 
Oh, yeah. A little yeah. proud dad moment there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Take it when we get it. There you go, Fowler. Third and five. Trying to throw, but he is going to be Ooh. brought down awkwardly behind the line. All right, he's up. That was a little scary. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when they come backwards like that. Yeah. Fourth down for the so fourth and nine. Yeah, anytime they get rowed down from behind like that, those yeah. legs get folded up underneath them. It's always that's that's why the you know the horse collar is illegal. But yeah. that yeah. was a clean tackle, but looked a little scary for Eli there for a second. Good to see him bounce right back up. See if Eli has some more uh, scramble magic in him here. Pick yeah, up I, another first down. I thought he was fixing to get away from him. Yeah. The young man has some athleticism. So fourth and nine, under seven minutes to play. Keep around left end. Oh. Makes a man miss. Big Runs man over has another man. The moves. Sorry, I talked to him. You're good. They didn't give it to him. No. Oh. I, uh, He's wanting it. Oh, I've, uh, to me, that's a questionable spot. But yeah, that's all right. So turnover on downs for the Lightning. Not a lack of effort there by Brock William, by Brock Humphreys. Yeah, it looked like looked like they spotted it where he made contact, contact with the defender, yeah. but he kept going. Yeah, and rolled over him. I agree. Yeah. Oh well. Um, that's a, if, if sometimes you Humphreys a senior. You yes. Yeah. Gosh, I wish we had him last First year. First year from the pro in the program. 6'2", 235. Got a uh, new number 70 junior, Jalen Jordan, checking in at nose guard. Oh, okay. 15, Wesley Holmes at linebacker. 30, Ari Harris. Looks like we're going to have a water timeout at the six-minute mark, so we'll take that break. Listen to a word from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Football on the ECSF. When it comes to environmental projects, you need a consultant with a proven track record of success and results. PPM's experience and expertise makes us one of the premier environmental consulting firms in the United States. With core offices located throughout the Southeast, we offer advisory services nationwide and are consistently ranked by Engineering News Record as one of the 200 largest environmental firms in the U.S. For more information, visit ppmco.com today. Making a big decision in life, you want advice and help from many trusted friends, right? Well, buying or selling your home is a big decision, and that's why you should trust my. Uh -oh. All right, after the heat timeout, we are back. And and just going forward, I want to play those out, even if we. Even if we miss the. Yep. Okay. We don't need to start them to begin with, but if we do start them, we need to play them out. A little snap. reverse look there, looking to throw. Pulls it down. Picks oh up enough my. for a first down. What a move. He moved in May. What was that number? Was that number seven? 12 for us. Oh. Yeah, it was Alex yeah. Martin. Alex Martin got, got fooled on that one. Got his shoes unlaced. Hmm. Number 41, sophomore Carter Wagner coming in. Teachable moment. First and 10 from the Lightning 25 yard line. Better snap. Good throw. Throws an open field. Good open field tackle there by Braden Reeves. Yeah. Great job there. He gave him a little cushion for an easy catch, but then he came up and broke down and had, you know, used the sideline, kept the, kept the defender on his outside shoulder so he could leverage the sideline and get him out of bounds. We've Sorry, kept the offensive player on his outside shoulder. We've got an injured player down. Roughing the passer. Call. Roughing the passer. So we're going to – we'll take a break here and finish that ad that we cut short there. <laughs> You're watching Avenger Lightning Football on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. 
Making a big decision in life, you want advice and help from many trusted friends, right? Well, buying or selling your home is a big decision, and that's why you should trust Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South. They're different because of their unique approach. When you choose them, you get not one, not two, but three experienced realtors working for you, each with expertise in all areas of the real estate market since 1997. Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South covers all of Shelby County. Call Eileen, Candace, and Kelly with Magnolia Realty Group. All right, we are back. Number 15 made his way off the field. We had a, a rough in the passer call there. So after that penalty, it'll be first and goal from the Lightning nine. Yeah, Johnson hopped off on one leg. He I didn't see who made the uh, who made the hit there. Yeah, I didn't either. It's too busy watching the, the action. Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to not watch the action. You're supposed to watch the other stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so four minutes and 30 seconds. Left in the game. Have the ball first See who they bring in, quarterback. From the eight-yard line. Looks like number seven. Number back. seven, yeah. Freshman, Mackie Williams. And it will be a timeout, Lions. So we'll take that timeout and listen to another word from our sponsors. Family owned and operated for over 50 years, Shelby Concrete operates nine ready mix concrete plants from central Alabama to the Gulf Coast. For your commercial, residential, or industrial service needs, visit their website today and ask for a quote. ShelbyConcrete.com. All right, we're back after that short timeout. Lions making a few adjustments, having to bring in a different guy at quarterback. Number 15 is off on the sideline. He's sitting down, so that's that's good that he's still here. Like he tweaked his ankle a little bit. So first and goal from the eight. See if the Lightning can make a stand. Pass to the right corner. Great he tackle by be Braden. Short. Another good tackle by Braden Reeves. Pass complete to Fuller. But they are knocking on the door again. Yep. First and goal from the one. Brings up second and goal. Second. Second, yes. Thank you. Imagine we'll see that coverage tighten up right here. Yeah, there's that number nine you talked about lining up at tight end there. Yeah. It's a tall guy. Staying in the block. Oh, goodness. Not a good snap. Made in the backfield by number 70, Jalen Jordan. Jalen Jordan and finished up by Stone Henderson. Man. I would not want to see that coming if I were a quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Jalen is a load. What is Jalen on the roster? Does it say? Jalen. It says junior. Oh. Size. <laughs> uh, it just I says know. junior. Okay. <laughs> junior. <laughs> he's not junior size. No. He's super size. That is not a junior bacon cheeseburger out there. <laughs> Third and goal from the 11. Let's make a stand here, Lightning. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to play. From the six, we're on the six. Yes, thank you. I'm <laughs> Another <laughs> rolled back snap. And he is landed on oh, by wait. that big number seven. Yeah. I'm, I, I, <laughs> man, he has a burst <laughs> off the line. He does. For a he? big guy. I mean, he, he was in that backfield really fast and then – you know, ran the quarter or the, ran the ball keeper down and Fourth fell on him, and that's not going to feel good in the morning. No. All right, here's the moment here of go. truth. Fourth, Fourth and goal from the two. Under two minutes. Jalen's first year with the program as well, so 
getting some valuable experience will pay off later in the year and hopefully next year too. Looks like we're going under center. Uh -oh. Bad snap again. It's on the ground. Fumbling Nobody's play. picked it up. Oh, we picked it up. That's, That's Kyle. Isn't it? No, 41. No, 41. Carter 14. Wagner. Flag on the field. There is a flag down. I didn't see what the flag would be for. Did y'all? I did not. Maybe a hold, I hope. It was right in the middle of the scrum for the ball. They're, they're, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna stand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. First and ten. Face mask. Face mask on white. Okay. By the time they mark the penalty off, the game will be over. Well, there we go. There we go. Face mask against the line. Oh, that would be an example of holding the rope yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> <That's coach laughs> exactly. Great job. Yeah. Great exactly. job defense. I mean, and, it, and it started with that. Great tackle down on the goal line by, yeah, by sure Braden enough. Reeves. And yeah. that, that, again, just the little things. He takes the right angle, puts his hel helmet on the right side to, mm -hmm. to stand up the, re the receiver and drive him out of bounds, and the Lightning get a goal line stand. So there you have it, folks. Lightning 50, Lions 6. So we're back home next week, right? That's we got correct. The, uh, and I, I messed up last week. I said we had the Fighting Rangers coming into town, but now we've got the Fighting Rangers yep. coming into town. Thanks so much. So um, another good game coming up next week. We went down there to, to see them last year down below Dadeville. So. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be making a trip to the Verizon store and seeing if I can figure out what's wrong with our technology streaming Yeah. You know, device 2023 and we're right here in the middle of a pretty like well a pretty populated, populated area, area yeah. and you know we it's just the same old a new friday night the same struggles with with internet so if any of you out there have any pull at verizon i mean you would <laughs> think we could take some of this land and put a tower yeah. up out here <laughs> it must be an ideal spot for one since there's such terrible coverage yep so any closing remarks alan just like what I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think what you said at the beginning of the game, you just want to see us continue to improve and and we did that tonight. Yeah. Man, this this defense is just fun to watch. Yeah. It's nice. I mean it's two years in a row we've had a defense. It's been really fun to watch. So yeah. yeah. I will I will say stats. Oh. I will say one other thought though. Yeah. That, that I enjoyed seeing when the second stringers came in tonight, La last week it, w it wasn't like Hagen started calling things too conservatively. Yeah. But he really kept it open yeah. in the play call. Yeah. To, you know, just really get them all the experience they can. Scott, yeah. you have some stats for us? Yes. So in the second half, number 20. Colton Dura. Colton Dura, thank you. I had drew a blank there. Had. Uh, Two rushes for 41 yards. He did. Um, I hope y'all have I'm better sorry. eyes than me. <laughs> I, I asked Scott I to read it. And he can't. I don't have my glasses he's, up here. He's stretching his arm out as far as he can. So, uh, looks like we had Kemp Swords, seven attempts, 57 yards, 87% with two touchdowns on our rushing. So, these are first half. My I think bad. this is the second half my down bad. here. Second yeah. right here. Yeah. Number 22, four carries for five yards. Stone Henderson. Stone Henderson, number nine, Eli Black, two carries for 10 yards. No, 16 yards, sorry. And number 50. Brock. Brock, Brock yes. Uh, Brock <laughs> Humphreys, two carries for 13 yards. Mm -hmm. That's our uh, stats for the second half. No passes. Attempted or completed? I don't think Eli threw any. He did not. Um, uh, so yep. we appreciate Nora Harris. Nora Harris yep. taking care of Nora our Ferris. stats. Nora Ferris. Ferris, sorry. Ferris, yes. Taking care of our stats for the second half and first half. Yep. Oh, oh that's all second half. Yeah, that was. Oh, well, okay. she did. Scott did the first, did the first half, half while half. we were uh, oh, we were gotcha. at break. So, oh. yeah. 
Well, you guys, can always check out our uh, team page on maxpreps.com. Uh, you can do that actually while you're watching the game, and you can see who our stats leaders are on both offense and defense coming into the game, and um, we'll try to provide you as much updated stats as we can throughout the game. We appreciate everyone tuning in tonight. Remember, if you haven't already, I think we're above 1,400 subscribers now on so our instagram um, yeah instagram account we're over 700 on our youtube channel so not too bad for a little so old homeschool that's program. right so if you haven't already uh like and subscribe so you'll know when we go live on both volleyball scott streaming volleyball and all of our football games will be here live so we hope you join us again next week we'll be back here at the evangel sports complex at the did they name it the o'neill field tonight is that um clayton o'neill clayton o'neill field yep as of tonight. So we hope you join us back next week. We appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for your time.